Sounded good that, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ted, you're right there, mate. Ted's having one of those mornings today, man. Ted, Ted, you're right. He just, he just carries on. I know we're gonna have to sort the flag out. Just keep going, all right, and Ted, keep going. I know, I know, mate. Yeah, it's one of those mornings for you, Ted. It's one of those mornings, bless him. How are we all doing? I hope you're having a good morning. Uh, we've just been rained on, just been showered on. I'll be good, Ted, I'll be good. in a minute Ted, goodness me. Right, how are we all doing? Hope we're all good, ladies, gents and teddy bears, Ted Coningsby channel. Live here at RAF Lake and Eve. Uh, it's a very early one, rise and shine. Could be a fun day today, could be a very fun day. I'll talk to you about that very shortly. We've got all sorts going on today, I think. We may even, we may even get to Millwall today. I'm not sure what's going on today, I'll be honest with you. Very good morning to you all. Just gonna share the stream. We, we were actually, uh, how we doing? I'll be on the show in just a sec. We'll just, uh,
Rivera RAF Lake Eve. How are we all doing, y'all? Hope we're all good. Body wing ladies, gents, and teddy bears. That's right. Home of four combat ready squadrons of the United States Air Forces in Europe. 492nd Manhattan's 493rd Fighter Squadron, the, Pan uh, the Grim Reapers. 494th, the Pampers. And the 495th. The 495th and the 493rd Fighter Squadrons, they both fly this, the F 35A. And the uh, 492nd and 494th, they fly the F-15E Strike Eagle. to everyone hope we're all good it's an early one Babs how you doing darling Daniel Walker Thomas Schmidt Davey Mayor Marshy how's it going very good morning Jonathan McD Abel Curtis Ed Butcher Mayor Marshy how you, how you all doing Colin Patterson Larry Lane, how you all doing? Plenty more F-35s on the move. Lady Shits and Teddy Bears. Pretty sure I've seen one. Pretty sure, if not, though. Never mind. The elusive stealth fifth generation. And I guess I was wrong.
very good morning to everyone tuned in Ted Connigsby channel live here at RAF Lake and East there they are look at them we could do, do a lot like a little sneaky shot like that. here I'm gonna guess with that uh, yeah <laughs> what's going on with that <laughs> oh dear all oh, right I, I'm gonna put money that there's something wrong with the landing gear on that one Richard Brown Oil, good to see you yesterday, man. What a day. I'm going to guess the landing gear issues on that one. There are more F-35s rolling out, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Oh, yeah, another two more at least. We're going to have a busy one.
tuned into the Ted Connorsby channel. We're live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we all doing? How are we all feeling this morning? Hope we're all good. There's even more F-35s. Wow. So there's, there's at least 12 in total. With one back, so that's 11. Yes, another force, there's 12. channel ladies sheds the teddy bears hit the like button youtube will recommend the stream when we get a thousand likes as we normally do hit the like do support the channel that's all you gotta do hit the like button ted conic speed channel thrive on your support all we need to do is hit that like button it does make a big impact it's not like a facebook post or an instagram post where it's uh, likes for the sake of it and or a numbers game it really does have an impact to our stream because youtube will recommend it once we get recommended then that means more exposure more exposure could lead to more viewers and of course more viewers could lead to more subscribers bringing you bigger and better content as our channel aims for 50,000 subscribers now oh, oh. and of course if you love military aviation and found our channel, then be sure to subscribe to the one and only Ted Connorsby channel.
coming out. It could be the uh, replacement for the one that went tech, I think. Ted Coningsby Channel live here at the 48 fighter wing. RAF Lake and Eve is the only wing of the United States Air Force to have a name, that's right. It's called the Statue of Liberty Wing. It's the only wing that has a name and a number. How cool is that? And that's all because of uh, their roots from the Chamont Air Force Base in France. Their base is pretty much in the vicinity of where the Statue of Liberty was made, so the mayor titled them and named them the Statue of Liberty Wing. Obviously in a French, in French. Statue de Liberté, something like that. I'm, I'm not the best at French, but hey. Ted Coningsby Channel. How we all doing? We're live at one of your favourite bases. Wasn't yesterday's stream one of the most amazing streams of the Ted Coningsby Channel? How we all doing? And I hope you're all enjoying the show so far. <laughs> Enjoy. Hit the like. Do subscribe. Come join us. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's ride. Don't forget to hit the share button as well, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let's share it on our socials. Let's go. Let's get a thousand likes again. Let's do it. Enjoy. Don't forget RAF Lake and Eve. Built in 1940. First to be here was 20 operational training unit, the 20 OTU from RAF Lossy Mouth. They came here with their Wellingtons to train the pilots. Oh yeah! And because of that, Lake and Eve, becoming a Royal Air Force base, retains the title because it is in fact owned by the Royal Air Force, the MOD, but used by RAF, uh, sorry, the United States Air Force in Europe. Here they are, and that's what the letter E stands for on USAFE. Here we go.
Stuart Jobling, oi, oi, how you all doing? <laughs> so we're looking at the F-35A flown by the 490 Bird Fighter Squadron, the Grim Reapers, and also the Valkyries, the 490 Fifth Fighter Squadron, who are kind of like the new kids on the block. They were 30 years inactive, deactivated, with their F-111s in 1991 and came back 30 years later with this, the F-35A. Oh yeah! From the uh, 1977 to 1991, the 495th joined the uh, 48th with a bit of a name change, the uh, Thunderbarks. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, as we uh, can see, the F-35s are just uh, waiting patiently. And don't forget, this is all because they, it depends what, what the situation is, what their flight plan is for the day. Um, so everything needs clearance, even to taxi here. Even these F-35s that taxi here at the EOR, end of runway. Even these F-35s that taxied right across the runway. This needs clearance. No pilot can just take their beautiful aircraft wherever they want, even civilian, even at airports. Everything needs clearance. It has to be cleared by ground, even the starter. Now you're probably wondering what they're doing waiting here. This could be for many reasons. One, over here, they could be waiting for the F-35 that went tech and come back, so they're waiting for that pilot, which I think is on its way. But that's just one of the reasons. They could also be waiting for a tanker that's at Mildenhall. That tanker could have gone tech, there could be delays, there could be uh, issues uh, with the KC-135 or whichever tanker they're waiting for. It could be a tanker that they're already waiting in the skies. There could be traffic where they're going. Or, if they've changed flight plan due to the fact that they need to change, say for example they were going low level and they can't due to the weather, then they can request to go somewhere else. But this needs clearance from tower radar and ATC traffic controllers. They can't just fly anywhere they want. So this is one of, one of a few reasons 
why the aircraft is still here. They are waiting for a particular reason unknown to us, but it could be, like I said, a tanker, there could be an issue, there could be all sorts of reasons. These eight F-35s, which is now seven, could be waiting for each other to do um, what's called red air, aerial combat. So again, they can't go out without the eighth F-35. There could be traffic up in the skies that they're waiting for it to clear. There could be a number of reasons. So everything has a reason and a purpose. I'm expecting a, um, a meme from Spanner Flight <laughs> um, with that one simply can't just taxi and take off when they want to. <laughs> I'm waiting for a Lord of the Rings meme, you know. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Chinato, oi oi, Mayan Marshy, oi oi, LEJ approach, Argon AV, oi oi, Ashley Mayer, oi oi, Tom Plant, how's it going? Annie G, Ian Wright, Scott Kohler, hello from Minneapolis, hello to you. Uh, so we greet each other with oi oi on the Ted Connorsby channel.
Margot, thank you very much. Joe, Daryl, Jordan, glad you enjoyed your uh, F35 hoodie. It's nice and warm, great quality. Nice one, and thank you for posting it on Instagram. Oh yeah, let's ride. mind them here, it just means we get to look at them for longer, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's all good. My screensaver. <laughs> Alan, the more they're on the ground, the more we can enjoy them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mac and Maiden, thanks for joining us. How you doing? Hope you're good. Crook, how you doing? Maca Maiden, Margo, Mayhem, how you all doing? Hope you're all good.
not like the F35B's Lady Shims Teddy Bears for those asking. They can't hover or anything like that. They can't uh, go hover vertically like a helicopter or like the Harrier. These are CTOL aircraft conventional takeoff and landing. These are the F35As. There are three main variants of the F35s, the A, the B and the C. Do you know your ABCs of your F35s? If you don't, then be sure to check out Ted's top 10 military aviation facts. Just go on our YouTube videos and click uh, Ted's top 10 military aviation facts and you'll be amazed. See how many you know. But the F-35A is a conventional takeoff and landing. It's got the most uh, G-rated airframe, a plus nine G rating. It is the slimmer and the smaller of the three main variants. So conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, CTOL. Uh, so it can take off just like a, a Typhoon or F-15, F-16, things like that. The F-35B, that's your lift fan system made by Rolls-Royce, that's right, British Engineering on the F-35. The F-35B has a max G-rated airframe at plus 7G and it's called a Stolvol aircraft, that's short takeoff and vertical landing. It can land vertically and doesn't need much of a runway to take off using its short takeoff facility using the lift fan. Now the F-35C, that is your beast of an aircraft, that is massive. The wing area, the actual area and also the wingspan is massive. If you looked at a silhouette or parked up the F-35s next to an F-35C, it is massive. It's got an extra four foot either side, that's eight foot longer. That's massive. Uh, sorry, wider. Sorry, my bad. Wider on the wingspan. So, and that's all due to the uh, the folding wings as well. And of course, because it's a carrier variant, the F-35C, the longer uh, wings gives it a better lift as well. So that's why uh, the F-35C is the carrier variant, and it's got uh, obviously uprated airframe and uh, the tail hook to use the catapult system on the carrier. Amazing. But I have to admit, they have been here a long time. I'm not sure what the delay is. <laughs>
Ali. Oh, I've got the conversions here. So um, wingspan 35 feet of the A and B here. So that's 10.7 uh, meters. But the carrier variant, the F-35C, 43 feet. That's 13.1. Uh, the F-35A uh, has got 15.7 uh, meters. The F-35B 15.6 and the F-35C is 15.7. So just slightly longer. And uh, it's a bit taller as well, the carrier variant at 4.48 uh, meters. They're all just slightly, slightly different, very slightly. Uh, if you want feet, that's 14.7 feet on the C, 14.3 on the B, that this is height and 14.4 feet on the uh, F-35A. Slightly different engine as well on the B. I think it's got like a, I know it's the F-135, but it's got a slightly different, it's got a, I think it's the um, F-135, I think it's a 100 or a 600, it's got a slightly different it's an F135 standard, but it's got a slightly different uh, engine. I think that's due to the fact to make room for the, uh, the lift fan system, which is the system that's uh, made by Rolls-Royce to make the aircraft hopper. And that's the B variant. If you want to see that, you can see that here in the UK at RAF Marham, uh, flying with the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Take my Ted away. Ladies, gents, steady bears, don't forget to hit the like button while we're waiting for the F35s to depart. Please hit the like button. It does make a massive, have a massive impact on our channel when you hit the like button. YouTube will recommend the stream when we hit a thousand likes. Please hit the like button. Let's get another thousand likes on our stream. It really does help because YouTube will recommend it once you hit that like button, which is free. Then YouTube will recommend it and therefore we can get more exposure. More exposure can lead to more viewers and more viewers hopefully can convert them to subscribers. Come on!
they're just getting departure details now. Uh, clearing to flight level. Um, some are going out as a two ship, some as a four ship. Local climb outs just been given out, all the details. Oh yeah, let's ride.
Yeah! <laughs> this ride! Did they probably said that, didn't they? That was good. We still got more. Uh, just the one, I think. So Ted's no stranger. I hope you enjoyed that, Lady Shares Teddy Bears. That was uh, that was great fun. And uh, Ted's no stranger to the uh, F35A. Ted's flown uh, last year in Halloween with the Valkyries, the 495th Fighter Squadron. Ted flew, oh yeah, for about one and a half hours, that kind of thing. Ted flew in tail number 5600. Thank you. 
Well, that was absolutely worth it, wouldn't it? That was worth waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears, how we all doing? And uh, you know what I think of that one? So you can so you can hear my comms now. This is that this is the thing. It was um it was always on. That's the funniest thing. The comms were always on. You just couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear anything on that. And um, <laughs> oh dear. Well, do you know what? Leonardo DiCaprio, if you're watching. <laughs> well, do you know what I thought of that? That was absolutely incredible. What did you think of that? That was worth waiting for. Um, for yeah, oh, that was that was pretty good, eh? <laughs> Let me just have a quick sip of this. Sounds pretty good over there. What's going on now? We've got more. That was insane. That that was worth waiting for. That proper probably shook the whole. Sorry. Was it an hour and ten? Really, as much as that? Wow. Oh, it was worth it. It was absolutely magnificent, that. Really, really good. Ted Connorsby Channel, live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we doing, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears? How are we all doing? Hope we're all good and enjoyed that. It was worth waiting for. We just just had um, just someone just tell me now um, and uh, tell me that uh, an hour, 10 minutes. Wow, that, was a, that is a long way, isn't it? But uh, yeah, they got enough fuel to go. I don't think they use that much fuel when they're, when they're just sat there just you know on idle i can hear more f35s so this is the funniest thing how are we all doing ted coningsby channel my name's nick Oss. i'm your cameraman and commentator this is our squadron the leader ted coningsby and of course we're on our check out the shirt man the uh, hoodie hang on let me just uh if i can work this out over here doing it this way there you go get a little look at our hoodies this is what jordan you may have heard jordan he's wearing one of these oh you can buy these these are handmade upcycled Little badges upcycled from bottle caps and bottle tops. Look at that, eh? Ring pull, there's got a ring pool. Yep, it's really cool. Um, everything's online. Check out tedconningsby.co.uk. How are we all doing? Hope you enjoyed that. That was worth waiting for, wasn't it? I mean, did anyone get a count of that? Did anyone find out how many there were? Because there was definitely, there was more than 12. Uh, that That's for sure. Maybe 15, maybe more, but uh, definitely more than 12. I, I thought that was, uh, that was incredible. That was uh, amazing. So yeah, welcome to the show, RAF Lake and Eve, home of the Statue of Liberty wing, the uh, 48 fighter wing. RAF Lake and Eve in use by the Royal Air Force from 1941 to 48 as we, uh, for all our regular viewers, uh, used by the Royal Air Force, first tier, 20 operational training unit, the OTU. Uh, but uh, of course the history goes way before that for those that know again this whole vicinity was a Saxon village and excavations in the late 90s found that uh, they uh, excavated a Lakenheath warrior that's right even the base uh, nearly 1600 years ago even this whole vicinity uh, was once used by the Saxons in the medieval period uh, sort of mid 5th century and uh, they excavated and found um, they, they knew there was burial mounds obviously this takes obviously being a military base they would need to you know to get permission etc from the suffolk council and obviously talks with the mod but what they found was a warrior skeleton of a warrior which they did their carbon date into about four five seven ad something like that uh, but they found this particular burial he had all the jewelry he had a sword and was buried with his horse and you can see these remains of the lake and warrior that's what the that's what they called it at the uh, museum in the actual town of milnall check it out uh as we roll back 1600 years uh, sort of 19 uh, 20 1915 World War One period this vicinity was known as Lake and Eve Warren for those that are not familiar with it it was used as a bombing range so you have biplanes just dropping bombs by hand um, uh, most of them I get I've, I've seen some videos I've even seen videos of biplanes doing air-to-air -air refueling you know the wing walkers there you go tie yourself up here's a jerry can fill it up air-to-air -air refueling in the most primitive kind it worked it worked yeah, they had to do air to air i mean what a genius whoever thought of that i know it sounds a bit crazy to think about it you know but we do wing walking but the thing is they had you know to be able to increase your range in combat in the skies then uh, you're going to get the upper hand so yeah 
um, bombing range. Like I said, 1940s, uh, became actually a decoy airfield to our uh, RAF Mildenhall base. Um, it was used like a what they call a Q site, uh, basically a fake airfield to protect um, the uh, RAF Mildenhall. And uh, you'll have fake aircraft and all the lights were on here and uh, made it look like a real airbase. But of course things changed and they ended up needing uh, Lake Eneve to be a satellite, so they created uh, RAF Lake and Heath, as in an official base. OTUs came here, short Sterling bombers. Wellington bombers came here. Uh, 149, 199 squadron, they all came here. Uh, it wasn't until 1948 that the Royal Air Force left and um, let the United States Air Force um, uh, run it from 1948. The 48 fighter wing, as we know, didn't come here until 1960, by the way. Uh, but during that 48 to 1960, the uh, base was used by various uh, wings, uh, such as the second bombardment wing with B-29s. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et but our good old 48 fighter wing started off as the um, the uh, as a Air National Guard, the 137th, the 157th, 137th. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, they 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 actually made them the 48th uh, bomber fighter bomber wing. I know. How cool is that? Pretty cool, isn't it? They were a bombardment wing first. I know. Cool. Anyway, where they were based in France and the Chamont Air Force Base. Uh, the uh, home of the Statue of Liberty. That's where it was made. So the Statue of Liberty in America is made in uh, France. And uh, the mayor there in the 50s decided to name uh, the the wing as the Statue of Liberty wing. And that's where it's got its name from. They didn't move in until the 15th of Jan 1960. They came over here with their uh, F-100s, F-100 Super Sabres. The LN tail code that you see today had a bit of a change. They had L, uh, LR, LS and LT. Now during even then, they, so they weren't uh, created until the 1950s, by the way. I know, the 48 fighter wing weren't in existence during the Second World War. That's, that's a pretty cool fact to remember. And uh, when they did come here, uh, they had a different tail marking system, uh, L, R, L, S, and L, T. That sounds good. Uh, the L uh, was the, the base and the, the, the next letter was the squadron itself. Now those three squadrons, the 42nd, the 492nd, sorry, the 493rd, 494th, uh, you all know this, but uh, we always have new viewers as well. And uh, I'll have to make a video of that, that'd be quite cool. But the, the, uh, the second letter was basically the squadron. So LR, the 492nd, L, S, the 493rd and LT was the 494. Now, if you're in the UK and you go to the Newark Air Museum, you can actually see a F100 Super Sabre with LT written on it of the 494th. It's got RAF Lake and Eve on it, so that's quite cool. The conversion to the F4 Phantom started to happen uh, from the F100s and the this is cool if you've got photos. I don't know if anyone's got any photos um, of their own. Uh, when they converted to the Phantoms, the tail code changed and they had one tail code. They called it LK. For whatever reason, they got rid of it. It was only for a few months and then they changed it to LN. And then of course we had the F100s, f 111s sorry. F111s came after the uh, F4s. And uh, a new squadron came here, the Thundervarks. They were called the Valkyries. That was their original nickname. We're talking about the 495th fighter squadron. They came here in the late 70s. And uh, they had the... Um, Hello. They were renamed a nickname called the Thundervarks for whatever reason, even though they were the Valkyries. But uh, they uh, they deactivated when they said goodbye to their F-111s. And uh, yeah, in 1991, and then they came back. Now the during the during that period in the uh, Gulf War and the El Dorado Canyon uh, in um, in Libya. They were actually called during that time the 48th Tactical Fighter Wing when they came here in the 60s. But uh, lessons learned, they, they decided they weren't going to be a tactical fighter wing. They decided to become just a fighter wing. And uh, yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that quick brief history. And of course they did change it to LN, the tail code in the end. Uh, and that was from the late 70s. It was only for a few months. What up? How you doing? Hope we're all good and enjoying the show. Uh, what we got over there departing over there now? It looks like... Let's have a look here now. Just about to see it from Milton Hall. If I can get to it in time.
So there we go, just a quick brief uh, history. I tried to make it sweet and neat because last time I just couldn't get in, get to do it. Um, but uh, lots of lots of info that you can find out. I just thought I'd keep it, make it a bit of a sweet and neat one. So we're just going to wait now patiently for the next slot. Now, usually they're up for about an hour and a half, usually. They could be earlier, they could be later, depends what they're doing. The fact that they're most likely gonna hit a tanker after that could mean they'll be up for a bit longer. They do have a phenomenal range, the F-35s. They don't need uh, or don't use um, external fuel tanks, drop tanks. The F-35s, as you know, um, like I just mentioned, they don't have the external fuel tanks. If they did, they they have trialed this to make stealth drop tanks, external fuel tanks, but uh, I think it's costly, and I don't think they need it, and they don't require it. So I think they 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 I think um, places like um, other countries have trialed it. I think it is. Um, but yeah, don't really require it on the F thirty five as it has a phenomenal range. The only time they would probably put them on if they're going to I suppose, transit, but they could use a could use a tanker towing all the way to tow line. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed that, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. That was uh, worth waiting for. I'm wondering if that F-35 that you can hear in the background is probably the one that uh, did, wasn't very well. Probably just testing it. Just a guess. Just a guess. And I've uh, got some guards marches to do as well. Thank you everyone for the support. That's so kind of you. And don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel. As you can see, we are on our way to 50,000 subscribers. We are back here on Friday. We don't usually have streams so close together in the same base, but uh, we thought we'd mix it up a little bit and do it that way. Oh, oh yeah, bird scarer. Ooh. I've never Breakfast. heard that. Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. I've never seen the bird scarer. Is that that's it there? I thought they'd use the the usual. Put the, uh, yeah, the uh, yeah. Well, it could be a new one. Waiting for a tanker, do you know? Yeah. I think so. I think so because they're going to that area I heard on here. So I my guess is that. Maybe it was just running late. I could hear the hurts running. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. so. <laughs> One went off. Oh it's not I didn't see it. Did you see the one effort if I was attaching back? Yeah. I guess that had a landing gear issue. Mm.
Hello there, you alright? Yeah, I want to see on YouTube. Oh cool. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. checking it to see if you definitely pull into the left. Mm. <laughs> oh. Ted Conning Speed Channel live here at RAF Lake and Eve. How are we all doing? Hope we're feeling well. Guards March time for my wonderful viewers and members who have been gifting and super chatting. Thank you so much for that. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Let me get the details. And, uh, we'll start off with uh, Julian Bailey. get you a new flag after this Ted. In fact, yeah let's go and get Ted a new flag just really quickly. Can't do it with that can we? Hang on, two ticks.
No, it was at least 12. <laughs> it was more than 12, I know that. It's so hard to count. It's the simplest thing and it's so hard to count them. Yeah, it's definitely more than 12, I know that. Yeah. Sounds like it, yeah. So a guards march for uh, Julian Bailey. Thank you for my breakfast. Thank you very much. Guards march for Julian Bailey. Thank you very much, Ginger. Okay. As well. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. It's good to see you here. And uh, Jonathan McD as well. G gifted a Ted Connysby membership. Thank you very much. Guards march. Thank you for that. Thanks for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you. Uh, Babs are gifting five Ted Coningsby memberships. Thank you again, Babs. Thank you for that. And Mayhem Marshy, 14 months loyal service. Thank you very much, Mayhem Marshy. Bring it on, 48 fight away. Oh, yeah. Bless you. Thank you very much for your 14 month service. Margot Baxter, gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much, Margot. Thank you so much. And Martin M, member for one month. Congratulations. One week, thank you. One week you're in, thank you very much. And thanks for uh, your continued membership, thank you. And Margot Baxter for Ted Scottish Salmon Bagels. We know he needs one after yesterday's phenomenal stream at Coningsby. Ah, oh, Marco, thank you very much for the super chat. Guards March. Marnie, member for eight months. Good morning to a great channel and lovely people. Thank you so much. Guards March for you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marnie, for that eight months loyal service. Uh, Nat75, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the info. About the parking lot. Thank you very much. Can't march. Uh, Jean Claude Jeur. Is that Germany? Member for ten months. Good morning. Got a Jean Claude underscore Jeur. Jeur. Uh, thank you very much for ten months service. Thank you. That's great, man. Thank you so much. Let's ride. Ian Wright to get a coffee from Dave's Burger Van. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Guards March for Ian Wright. Hope to see you soon, man. Nate75, nicer. Thank you very much for the super chat. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. And Jad, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Watching from Australia. Thank you. And uh, oh, check it out. Oi, oi. Send them from uh, Rusty Wenzel, member for 13 months. Thanks, when Rusty Wenzel, thank you for your loyal service. Thank you so much. 13 months. Marco Baxter, gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Marco, thank you very much. Guards March. Marco, towards Ted Steele this week. Thank you very much for that. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate that, that does help. Keeps the van going, keeps it flowing. Thank you so much. Uh, Thomas Schmidt, support for Ted. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Cars March. Thanks a lot, Thomas. HBC TV, thank you very much for the super sticker. Thank you so much, Cars March. Um, Barb Mac UK, <laughs> Barb Mac UK. Thank you very much. Who, who's uh, gifted? Oh, I love the uh, little profile pic of the cat there. Uh, who's gifted five Ted Coningsby memberships? Thank you so much, Guards March. Thanks.
thanks for that. That's so kind of you. It's so nice when people get, um, do give memberships because not only are you giving, you're giving, you know, a, a membership and all the perks that come with it to other people. That is so nice of you. Thanks for doing that. Um, Bandit99 gifting a membership as well. Thank you very much. Gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Malky Stoddart gifted a Ted Coningsby membership as well. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Thank you. White Wizard as well, gifting 10 Ted Coningsby membership. What up? How are you doing? Thank you so much. 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. Man, bro, that's so kind of you, man. Thank you very much. Everyone's gifting and giving. That is so kind of you all. Thank you. Thanks, White Wizard. Watching uh, from Beale. California. Alex Pick gifting the Ted Coningsby membership. How are you doing? Guards March. Thank you very much for gifting a membership. Nope, oh, he's off. <laughs> I love the way he just walks off there. I love the way Ted just toddles off there now. <laughs> Right, so we're just gonna wait patiently now as we do for our next movement, whether it be landings or uh, departures. But yeah, the F-35, this is my understanding that you can hear in the background. I think they're just, that's the one that went back and uh, all is good. So they're probably just doing some troubleshooting with it. It was either, definitely landing gear issue on that, I think it's just my understanding the way it was uh, moving, whether it would be brakes or, or just a uh, sort of, a jammed or stuck or not operating very well uh, front landing gear I reckon that was just a guess so I hope we're all good yeah, I'm all good. Joshua Brown, how you doing? Green Diesel, how's it going? Hope we're all good. White Wizard, what up? <laughs> oh, yeah. What a better way to enjoy teddy bears and jets. That's it. A nice mix that seems to be working out for us. Ted Coningsby channel. A fun but serious military aviation channel. You know how we do it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Ted Coningsby, oh, better zoom that out. So yeah, all is good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. We're just... Uh, a mass takeoff this morning with a lot of F-35s. That was incredible. That was absolutely awesome. Hope you enjoyed that. That was good. But, you know, you can come here. We're in the viewing area, of course. We're in the uh, official public uh, viewing area of RAF Lake and Eve. And, of course, uh, do be respectful of the grounds, uh, please. Sounded good, didn't it? Uh, that ain't no motorbike. Sounds like an F-15. That sounds like a Pratt & Whitney F-100. That's one engine. You need another one to go with it. Sounds good, that haunting sound. But yeah, we're in the uh, public viewing area, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears. And of course, treat this like anywhere, like it's yours, like it's your home, you know? Just be respectful to it, please. You know, we always recommend to take a little home if you can. Um, I did a little pick here this morning. You may have heard me uh, talking to the gentleman um, I, I think it's from the council that comes to, yeah, that sounds like an F-15 E-Strike Eagle startup with the F-100 engines. Uh, so yeah, uh, please, please, if you can, um, please don't litter. It's, it's against the law anyway to do that. So please don't do it here just because it's, you know, just in a public viewing area. There are bins provided. Uh, if, when during busy times they can get a bit full, we get that. But if you can start to get into habit, bring a bag and put all your rubbish in and either take it home uh, with you. That's what our recommendation is to put it in a bag because sometimes you'll put a, a tissue and it'll just fly straight out. So we, we just put all our stuff in a bag. And uh, the TCS, me and Ted, um, if you are going to be um, doing a kind gesture of doing a litter pick, please either wear gloves uh, or use one of those litter pickers. That sounds good. This is promising. This is sounding good. Uh, but yeah, we, we don't. You don't have to do it. I'm just saying, if you are going to attempt it, if um, please be mindful of sharps, basically. Yeah, 
uh, glass and etc anything sharp so please at least wear gloves if you're going to attempt to do that um, we just put it all in a bag and just there was no room to be on it the bins were overflowing but yet yeah, don't touch the fence don't cut the fence don't lean your ladders on the fence that kind of thing um, please don't damage the MOD property uh, again it's criminal damage as well um, you know just respect the base park sensibly as well and in, and have a good time have a great time and you know and of course um, you cannot fly drones here it's against the law as well there are signs uh, if you see anyone or spot anyone attempted to fly drones you can discreetly uh, call the base there is a number provided around the viewing area as well um, and of course we do have to mention it because it does happen I don't know why they do it but they uh, some people think it's okay to shine those laser pens at pilots You'll be in serious trouble, uh, but if you spot anyone doing that, um, again, a really good idea from RAF le Leaming to, uh, I love that leaflet they gave you, but it says if you are, you know, do report it, but do it discreetly. They don't want to, don't want you getting into a confrontation with these types of people, because obviously it's uh, your health and uh, your well-being is, um, is key. So do that discreetly if you're going to do something like that as well, okay? So if you're going to report it, make sure you do it in a safe place and you're not seen because at the end of the day you don't know what people would you know what, what their mindset is do you know what i mean uh, so do look after yourselves as well so ted Coningsby channel day three of five of streaming uh, it was raining here this morning it was that drizzle that just it doesn't matter what waterproofs you wear it will just soak you to the bone uh <laughs> did survive it in the end but uh we you know we're all right for a minute i'm not sure about later on but we'll see we'll see how this rolls <laughs> Lots of startups, that's promising. So those are the F-15E Strike Eagles flown by the 492nd Fighter Squadron, the Mad Hatters. Guns up. Uh, they're also known as the bowlers locally, spelt B-O-L-A-R-S, and that's due to the fact that they, they wear a uh, bowler hat. And that's all because they will have an extra nickname depending on where they're geographically located to do with the traditional hat worn in the country. So that's pretty cool uh, to do that. So uh, <laughs> I guess if they were based in Scotland, would it be, the, what's it called, the Tammy hat? Uh, that would be uh, <laughs> the Tammies. Interesting. I think that's right. I'm not sure if that's how, if that's, I'm sure that's right. Anyway, um, and of course the 494 Fighter Squadron, the Panthers. Um, I don't think there's many F-15s still at the moment. They're not, they're not all back yet. They're on holiday, as we're saying. And lots, I can hear more than at least two or three, because obviously when you hear this one startup, that's one engine, the F-15E Strike Eagle has two, so you'll need to hear two of those. So one by one so yeah all is good ladies gents and teddy bears hope it's all good and uh, yeah enjoy the ride like i said you can come here tomorrow and it'll be a completely different type of movement yeah that sounds good that sounds good always look out for little signs as well if you're coming here are the fire extinguishers up are the chocks out let's have a look always look out over there so there is a there is a truck over there but can't see any chocks laid out or anything like that but uh, you never know they might put them on in a minute there's a crow there though hello you're right there how you doing good morning you're right oi oi how you doing you good how you doing Oh, you hate HPCTV, how you doing? I remember, I've met you before, haven't I? Yeah. I met you before and I was wondering if I thought it was some sort of TV channel. <laughs> nice guy, this channel. Yeah, yeah, that's no, cool. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh, that's great. How you doing? All right, yeah? Were you here in the morning? Did you manage to catch him or...? We got it just after we finished. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good fun. Yeah, yeah, well, at least you get to see millions of people coming back because they've got lots more than which you've probably seen, but a lot take off. Um, so it's just, uh, yeah, that's some, that, well, there's definitely more than three F-15s that just started up. Um, and they're running now, they're swarming, so you've got them. Oh, nice, oh, I love the T-shirt, that's cool, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, no, it's, it's a classic, over 50 years old its legacy and it's still going it is amazing to think about that you know a, a concept 50 years old or on, an, on a you know an aircraft it's still going been in combat lost none that you can't go wrong it is 
yeah, it's, it is a beautiful aircraft. Really, really good. Yeah. I'm all right. Yeah, for now, I'm all, I'm all good for now. I've still got. Yeah. But thank you. Later on, maybe not. <laughs> Later on, I might start with it now. But yeah, no, it's all good. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's all. Yeah, yeah, you too. You too. Enjoy it. Where, whereabouts are you? Over there or here? Just enjoy it. Oh, yeah, you're in here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, just enjoy it. Are you here t uh, tomorrow as well? Or? Yeah, you're going to come here tomorrow? Okay, cool. Oh, all right, why not? Why not? Enjoy it. It's, I think, you know, like I've been telling my viewers, every day is different here. You'll get something different. Like a one hour wait. <laughs> but it's something to look at. <laughs> yeah, the vibe, the thrill, it's all good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the sounds, the vibes, and then uh, that, that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, it's immense. Really busy. Yeah, it's just it's really good. Yeah, it's amazing. It's impressive. I'm, I'm loving it. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So hopefully these these startups will turn into departures. Hopefully, I can hear them. I haven't really been paying attention more. I have my radio on, but I can't hear it because there's all just. I don't like put, if I put headphones on, I can't hear aircraft coming in as well. So. Yeah. Plus I like the, uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> I like the, uh, you know, the unknown as well. It makes it more exciting. <laughs> well, enjoy it then. Oh, enjoy it then. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. What's your name? Sorry. Ben and Harvey. Nice to meet you guys. Even though I met you before, it's HPCCV. <laughs> but that's cool. Oh, nice one, thank you. You take care. Enjoy the show, alright? Enjoy the day. How are we doing, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears? Red Bull already, brilliant. <laughs> Standard. Red Bull. Red Bull is not good. Red Bull means, oh dear, it's gone a bit tech. But it doesn't mean it's completely the end. Um, pilots can uh, turn it off and on again. <laughs> It, there's a bit of truth in that, you know. There's actually a little bit of truth in that. Don't forget to join us and subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel. I'll tell you what though, we're only like 87 subscribers away from 46k. It could even be today, we could do it. That's pretty cool, man. How we doing, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears? Oi, oi to everyone that's tuned in. Thanks, Margot, the Tammy. So yeah, if they <laughs> if they were based in Scotland, they'd be they'll be called the Tammies. The 492 nd Tammies. <laughs> They're probably listening in now, because I know they watch it in the base. They're probably thinking, what the <laughs> Oh man. Big shout out to Ben and Harvey, HBC TV. Thank you for uh, your kind words earlier, both of you, and I hope you enjoy your uh, Lake and Eve adventures. They just love it. We were only talking about that yesterday. In fact, I can see it now already with uh, with others as well. It's so nice, and I, and I know a lot of you have probably done this with your with your uh, parents um, in time. You know, as a kid, been taken to uh, air shows or air bases when you were a kid, and they, oh, those are lovely things to do. You know, lovely memories, that bond father and son or daughter as well because I see that as well I even see mums and daughters I'm not going to genderify this I'm going to even when uh, mums and daughters uh, go together I've seen this um, 
at uh, Waddington where the mum uh, you know um, has a daughter that's uh, studying photography and uh, the daughter was you know taking photos of red arrows and aviation which is quite a, it is difficult I mean when I uh, obviously transitioning um, hobbies shall we say even though it was a business for me the uh, wedding photography uh, going from wedding photography to aviation um, I was thinking man you guys and girls and teddy bears are absolutely rocking at this because my subjects usually stand at the only time I ever go into quadruple figure shutter speeds is for sh uh, <laughs> is for uh, confetti confetti shots um, and then I was, uh, when I experienced aviation, I was thinking, oh, hang on, these don't, these, these move fast. There, <laughs> so I had to kind of think of it as confetti. That's uh, so I whacked it onto like I don't know, whatever shutter speed it was for fast moving, sixteen hundredth of a second, that kind of thing. And then, uh, and then I got used to it in the end. But man, you guys and girls are phenomenal at that. But my point is here: I love the bond. I love the fact that you take your children, and then you'll be that ad you'll be that parent to take you know to take your child. And I just think those memories do live on. Um, I remember my air show days as well when I was a kid, being brought up in I'm born in Western Supermare you know the western air festival those memories will stay with me forever you know the red arrows and of course you've heard it lots of times the vulcan uh when i've seen it go over western pier doing its hand as i called it as a kid handbrake turn wing over something like that i know it's not the technical term but as a kid you're allowed to say things like that <laughs> so yeah it was uh, th these these memories stay with you forever even now but the point of it is as you is you know these memories you can remember have been taken by your parents to these wonderful places and it's fr you know coming we are so lucky in this country to be able to have viewing areas you know it's free it's a nice day out they just enjoy it. it's educational it's fun as well and you're learning something as well and it could inspire you to become our next pilot or ground crew or any part of our air force as well so i just think it's a magnificent inspiration so keep it up Yeah, the 747 is sweeping. Do you know, I didn't actually turn, do you know, I totally forgot about that moment when I made that video. Um, it's, it is on there. It's when, I might have to, to remember to take, to make a, a, a two second funny video of that. It's when the, uh, I've named it when Lake and Heath look like Heathrow, that one. It is on there. It's 747 and 767. If you can uh, check that out, it is on there, it's sweeping. I've, got, I've never, I, I was, I thought I was hearing things. Oh, some lovely super chats. Come in. Oh, Hearn Hunter, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Lots of you celebrating your milestones today. Brilliant. Let's ride. You know, I, I, you know, I was saying about you know parents and stuff and children going to you know military bases. I, I, you see, me and Ted, I, I look at Ted in the van and I just think he's like my my work buddy. We're like <laughs> we're in a white van and me and Ted are on adventures, aren't we, Ted? It's hilarious. So I, you know, the cuddly bear is now my like my actually he's my boss technically. Um, <laughs> Oh dear, Nordic Iron, thank you very much for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Guards March for you, sir. Thank you very much, Nordic Iron. Who's also celebrating a member uh, membership for seven months. So thank you. What could be better than Ted and Jets at work? Nordic Iron, thank you so much for that. Guards March and well done for your seven month continued service. Ruth Fleet gifting a Ted Coningsby membership as well. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. Thank you so much. Birdie Birch, thank you for your super sticker. Thank you very much, it was so kind of you. 
Martin Skeet gifting a Ted Phonics B membership as well. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. Hearn Hunter celebrating membership for 12 months. 49 years married today. Thank you, David. Hearn Hunter, thank you very much and congratulations on 12 month membership and 49 years wedding anniversary. Thank you so much. Guards March to both of you on your wedding anniversary. A little bear hug and a high five and a let's ride. And also just want to say thank you very much, Hearn Hunter. Love this channel. Thank you for that amazing super chat as well. With a F15 e strike equal startup. John Cotton member for 10 months. Thank you for the great stream. Guards March for you, thank you very much. Thank you for your 10 month service. Uh, Mike Weaver, member for five months. Keep up the great work, Nikos. Love this channel. Love you back, man. Thank you very much. That startup might be for the one that didn't quite make it. There was one that called out Red Bull. So that could be the, uh, the other F15E replacement. as well, Lady Shenzha Teddy Bears hang in there. Here we go. Gotta get the free pommets around. delight to see these. Thanks to it. I love this. This is great. I love <laughs> that this is, is so going up. up. That is so going up there. You know it the wobbles. Can't wait it will be. It's one of the wobbly it oh, but the bobble oh, I love it. It's a bobble wobble. Speaking of that, blackjack on its second sort so the first sort was a display. Turbo, yeah. yeah. Did you did you watch it? Did you watch it? Watch, watch turbo. Did you did you see what the Oh the, the yeah <laughs> I have never seen that in my life, that's it. I didn't, the pilot was going like that, you know, just, that was, I just, I was like, oh my god, you needed some, sort of, you know, oh dear. Oh, you've got your wheat counter. Yeah. Got to get the wheat bometer. Wheat bometer. Here we go. Not seeing any, oh, they're bringing them out now, the chocks.
the uh, tail flash that you can see the traditional colors there you got red you got blue there is a yellow and there was a green as well but the green and the yellow um, would really be on the F-35As of the 493rd yellow and the 495th fighter squadron of green. The uh, red represents the Panthers and the blue tail flash represents the uh, Mad Hatters, the 492nd fighter squadron, 494 red. Should give you the fighter squadron as well, really, shouldn't I? Uh, but yet, yeah, on their aircraft in the past, F-111s, had a green on there for the 495th and of course yellow on the aircraft for the 493rd fighter squadron but they don't really put any color on the f-35s anymore or at least they don't anyway standard so don't take that as right as rain as with regards to which squadron this is because uh, <laughs> because at the end of the day that would mean there are two squadrons right here. The jet is off that, that squadron. Traditionally, that is true, but if they haven't got aircraft, enough aircraft to pass around for a squadron, they'll just use another one, it, regardless of the markings. Hope that made sense. I think this is actually the Panthers, I think. quick correction to my uh, history so it was 10th of July 1952 it was the 137th fighter bomb wing of the Oklahoma Oklahoma Air National Guard uh, at Chamont Samotier base and it was that they, they were the ones in 52 to be redesignated as the 48th fighter bomb wing I, uh, I said the, the 150 the 157th I think it was so sorry about that. it was the 137th fighter bomb wing and they were named the 48 fighter bomb wing so the 48 fighter wing as we know it uh, didn't weren't created until night weren't founded until 1952 here we go trying to get some sweeps in likes as well nice Let's ride. <laughs> Here we go.
Here we go. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. I zoomed out to give me a little bit of extra. I just got it. That'll count. I'll do that. Counts. That counts. <laughs> oh, lovely. Brilliant. I thought oh, I heard a starter. Yeah, there is one swimming. Something. something. Yeah, swimming. More startups.
Giddy dee up, we're doing up, we're all good. Ted Connors be channeled live here at RAF Lake and Eve. Hope we're all good and feeling well, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Completely deteriorated. A bit different to yesterday, wasn't it? Very, very different from yesterday. But uh, nevertheless, we're still going strong. And it's certainly been a cracker of a week already. a lot 1k likes thanks everyone for getting us to 1k thank you so much for that amazing really is incredible the channel the love the support is just phenomenal and that's all down to you ladies and teddy bears thank you very much for that oh yeah team nardo dicaprio <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Oh, there was nice. rain over there. Oh dear, 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 dear. Here we go again. Time to get... I know Jonathan McD, I know less than 100 to 46k as well. I'll, I'll give you the uh, the numbers. It's uh, we just need 73 to go for that. We just uh, gonna whack a little quick rain cover on. Sadly, it is about to tip it. Oh, and my tea's gonna have extra water. Why does it? Oh, it always rains on me, man. Every time. Do you know what I mean? Right, just that. Uh,
<laughs> oh well, story of my streams. Oh, it's just going to get a little bit rough at the minute. Hang in there, it'll be alright. It won't be raining hopefully for too long. What's that? Um, the oh yeah, it's yeah. beautiful, yeah man. Yeah, that's the old oh, that's yeah. it. Oh yeah. That's good. You definitely yeah. feel it. A lot yeah, of power on those, isn't it? Yeah, I like your panel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye. Very kind of you to say. Thank you. Bye. Bye, take care. Whack. We're off comms for a minute. Hoping it's not much of a much rain, but uh, you know me, <laughs> I hate I hate the rain cover because it uh, just restricts me. I, I need it all there. You know what I mean? Right. like a monsoon over here. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at the monstrosity down there. Look at this. OMG. If that's coming here, oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh dear, it's time to get the Snoopy jacket out. Oh, it's absolute sea spray over there. there now what on earth all right okay hang on sorry about that the screen's gone weird not anymore it's fine now there we go right you enjoy the uh, the views there now <laughs> of the rain <laughs> right. it's gonna be a little bit rough at the minute but just bear with it wow we're certainly gonna get it now here, 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 here. Okay. Don't even know if I can film that. 
Well, let's see what we let's see what we can do in this. Yeah, just bear with it a minute. can land in this. That's awful man. That was it. I think that might have been it. I'm just gonna dry this up a little bit. Should be all good, should be all good. Just gonna dry up a little bit here and out. That's the thing, everything, everything might be protected, but uh, obviously the uh, screen might be a little bit emotion. I did say it was going to be emotional today, but uh, we've done all right so far. I think I hope, <laughs> hope that wasn't too uh, disastrous. Uh, did what I can on that. Like everything, all the all the electrics are all okay. It's just I can't help all the spray. You're gonna get spray no matter what. And the thing is, the uh, the rain's going just going right on me, like literally direct. Here comes another one anyway. Let's see if I can get this.
cool. Somewhere is an F15 uh, here. <laughs> oh dear. That's awful, isn't it? They had nice blue skies where they were just then. Now they've come back to this. There is an F-15 here somewhere. Oh man, fair play to the man for working in this. I can't actually see them. <laughs>
think a part two I would have bought. Pretty bad. Yeah, that is pretty bad, isn't it? Pretty grim. Right, okay. Woo! Might have to actually get the better of us on this one. Right, Lady Chef's Teddy Bears, I think I'll call it and I'll be right back on a part two. How's that? Is that all right? Because that is really bad. Is that all good? That is really bad. <laughs> 